Hey everybody, my name is Monsal and I'm with Nutripedia and today I'm at the Walt Disney Family Museum here in beautiful San Francisco and today we're going to talk about creativity. What better way to focus on creativity than talk about Walt Disney. So I'm going to give you four specific nootropics that you can use to improve your creativity. Now, first things first, what is creativity? There's a lot of different definitions and different people think about it in different ways, but I'm gonna ask you to think about it in two specific ways. So we're gonna focus on two mechanisms to improve creativity. One is improving verbal fluency, and two is increasing working memory. So I've got four nootropic options to increase your creativity. Number one is phenylparacetam or paracetam and the racetam class is a great family of drugs for improving creativity because they have a completely different mechanism than other common drugs. You can improve your creativity with phenylparacetam or paracetam and there are uh, not, a, not a lot of studies about this, but if you look on Longevity or Reddit, you'll find dozens of people discussing this very concept. So number two is modafinil. Now modafinil is pretty ubiquitous and it's considered one of the best nootropics, but it has a unique benefit for a stimulant and that is it can improve working memory according to a few studies. Now, I have found it to be really great for creativity. I found it really great for uh, big outlines and trying to conceptualize a, pro a big project, but there are differing opinions, so use that wisely. Number three is nicotine. Now nicotine, commonly found in cigarettes, has a lot of benefits for creativity, but there are tons of side effects. So I don't recommend you use cigarettes, I don't recommend you even use a straight nicotine option. If you can uh, get little bits of nicotine every once in a while, then it might help be helpful for your creativity. And number four, is Hooperzine A. And I don't have a lot of experience with this, but a good friend, Derek Murphy, who's a best-selling author, has written a number of fiction books, and he finds that taking Hooperzine A is a great drug for him for creativity. Now, this is a single anecdote, and there's a lot of individuality behind it, but it is important to keep that in mind. So the final thing before we get rained on here in San Francisco is is a free option for you to improve your creativity. That is walking. Walking is a great way to improve creativity according to a Stanford study focusing on four different studies and 180 students. In fact, the results showed that people who walked were about 50% more likely to come up with a creative solution than those who didn't get a walk in. So there you go guys, take a walk if you don't want to use any nootropics. Check out the four that I mentioned and I'll see you guys next time.